So a major wrench is perhaps about to be thrown into President Biden's re-election run because they've tried to make this guy go away, but he just isn't. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is now expected to announce that he will run likely as an independent. That's what it looks like this announcement will be. Instead of trying to oust Biden as a Democrat in the party that he has spent his whole life in and obviously generations of his family. So it could be a move that changes the game for 2024. RFK Jr. consistently polled in double digits among Democrat primary voters. Watch this. I want to tell you now what I've come to understand after six months of campaigning. There is a path to victory. It's not through playing the game by the corrupt rules that the corrupt powers and the vested interests have rigged to keep us all in their thrall. Join me in Philadelphia on October 9th. There I'll share with you our path to the White House and how we can all participate in healing our nation. Interesting. Interesting music underneath that. The whole thing is interesting. RFK Jr. Uh, could play spoiler or he could do better than that if uh, it works out his way. The top concerns about Biden, of course, continue to be his advanced age. And liberal comedian Bill Maher thinks that it's time for Biden to drop out. Watch what he said. Someone has to convince President Biden that if he runs again, he's going to turn the country back over to Trump and go... <laughs> <laughs> and go down in history as Ruth Bader Biden. <laughs> the person who doesn't know when to quit and so does great damage to their party and their country. Very interesting. Jesse, let me start with you. What is the impact of RFK Jr. getting in? And the word is that he's going to run as an independent. It hurts Biden more than it hurts Trump. I looked at some video for the RFK rallies. You will not see Trump looking voters at RFK rallies. It is college students and black Americans. OK, that's not what I'd consider the Trump base. OK, how about this? How about <laughs> At least you're admitting now that black people don't like Donald <laughs> I, I, I Trump? Don't know I'm talking that. demographically, Jessica, or yeah. did that go over your head? <laughs> black is a Democrat. How about this? OK, it, it, trust me, they don't vote for Trump. They vote for Democrats. I thought Let's they voted for Trump see. in bigger what? numbers than any prior I candidate. Love yes. and, then, and then he keeps Jesse. banking on the fact that he's getting more and more black voters. Yes. Trump is vote. not winning the black vote. He'll do better right. than last okay. time. All right. But when you see a crowd of black people with a crowd of college students, you do not say, that is a Trump rally. <laughs> I mean, come on, people. Are we stupid here? Come on, we drew all Bowman here. What's going on? All right. Also, let's just say New Hampshire. <laughs> Critical vote electorally, OK? You see... Trump's name, you see Biden's name, and you see Kennedy. Kennedy is synonymous with Democrat. Mm -hmm. Everybody in New Hampshire used to live in Massachusetts. <laughs> They're all Boston <laughs> transplants. He, this guy has Boston coming out of his pores. <laughs> Who has a firmer grip on their base? Joe Biden or Donald Trump? Donald Trump does. Donald Trump absolutely does. Have you ever met a Trump voter that's like, you know what, I'm really considering voting for Kennedy, an environmental lawyer. Actually, who, if you yeah. go on his website, wants to stop mining, logging, and oil exploration. If you go on his website, RFK Jr., who I like, also wants <laughs> government-run right. daycare. Okay, this kid, he is pro-choice. I'm not saying Trump people wouldn't consider voting for him. I'm saying overwhelmingly they, this pulls from Biden. Okay. Well, let's talk about this. So he says that he wants, and I know you've, you've interviewed him, he talks about being the first podcast president. He has a lot of support among Rogan listeners, among mm -hmm. Jordan Peterson listeners. Yeah. And what he's talking about in this video is that there has to be a different path. Electoral now, if there was support ever, or support? Listen, all I'm saying is that he has a lot of people, young people, very interested in what he's talking about. Now, some of them may think he's conservative, and when they actually dig deeper and scratch below the surface, they may decide he's not for them. But he is getting a lot of attention because he's sort of, you know, cut from a different cloth. He's also making a big deal out of the... His family doesn't like him. They don't support him at all. Oh, I don't so think he would win Democrat, Massachusetts. Definitely Democrats he wouldn't love probably that. win... Ma he wouldn't even do well in Massachusetts in, in that case, the, you know, where everybody is supposed yeah, to... Yeah, Kennedys Kennedy. don't do well in Massachusetts, Martha. <laughs> He won't do well. Okay. And can I tell okay. you something? I was at a parade in Massachusetts on the 4th of July. Yeah. The Kennedy bus went by, and everyone was like this. They don't want that Kennedy. They want the other Kennedy. They were worried about his they driving. Want, <laughs> they want Jack Kennedy. They want his father. They, they are Campbell not necessarily lot. subscribing. All right. 
Let me get you in here, Janine, because I want to hear your thoughts on this. I think that he will pull some. I think he will pull some votes from Republicans. Now, whether or not it would some. be significant. I don't know. Some. Some. Well, I think he will pull votes from Republicans. I really do. But I don't think it's significant at all. I really don't. I, I have to tell you, I think I think the interesting thing is that he's made a decision he's not going anywhere in the Democrat Party. Well, you're not going anywhere in the Independent Party either. And you know what I think? I think he believes, and this is what I believe, and I, I, I'm sure there's no basis for it. I don't think Joe Biden is ultimately going to be the candidate. I could be wrong, but I think he knows that he's not going to be the candidate if Joe Biden isn't. He's got nowhere else to go. Nobody else wants him. He's put all this energy in, so he's going to make a big announcement on October 9th. It's not going to make a damn bit of difference to anybody. Well, the, the race is very tight. 60% say they don't want Trump to run. 70% say they don't want Biden to run. There are a lot of people out there who are looking for someone else. He's doing backflips off of uh, rocks and doing push-ups and proving that, by the way, I am actually younger and healthier than either one of these guys. I, I disagree with Judge. I think this is a true independent. He will pull from Democrats and he will pull from Republicans. He will pull from Republicans primarily from the vax positions that he's taken. Uh, the Fauci, he's been outspoken on that, and, and, it, and it's, you know... I talk, I talk to people who like him. I actually like him, and I think sometimes he goes over the top. The Dems screwed him, and they chose Biden, who was this broken-down, incoherent mess, over RFK Jr. and said they forced him out. He's sharp. He's well-read. He's curious. He's open-minded. Uh, why would they do that? Why would they choose an incoherent mess over somebody who's got his, his head together? That's the reason. You can control this hollowed-out husk, but you can't control a free thinker. And there's something that RFK Jr. has in common with Trump. They're both dangerous because they're both outside. They both grew up in the world, right? They grew up in the world of power, but they're outside, and they're, que they're both questioning exactly what is going on inside these worlds. That makes them dangerous, so they're targeted. Uh, RFK was targeted by the Democratic Party. You look at Joe Rogan being targeted. You look at Musk being sued by the government. You see what's happening to Trump. You look at Russell Brand. You look what happened to Tucker. Do you notice a trend here? The people that are outside are the ones that are being taken off the chessboard. I think that's pretty interesting. You look at you look at Joe Biden right now. We were looking, trying to look for some tape from him from six months ago, and we found it. The decline in just six months is frightening. It's pronounced. This guy is on a downward slide, and I think you're right. I don't think he's going to be the nominee. And that means RFK Jr. Might, might loom a little bit bigger than we think. But I don't think he will ever be accepted by Democrats because of the vax position, because of, you know, I mean, Kennedy is his last name, but he doesn't line up with Kennedy's on anything. No. And they're Caroline Kennedy and her son oh, they're were all... doing an interview about it yeah. and were asked by Savannah Guthrie, you know, why, do you stand by? Because uh, Jack Schlossberg, her son, posted a video and they said, yeah, absolutely. This is, this is not a Democrat. And we're, they didn't go so far to say we're Biden Democrats because they're Kennedys, but they are. So the person who knows best of all who he's going to pull votes from is RFK Jr. himself, and he admitted it. So he was on a podcast, because that's where he hangs out, with a, a comedian named Theo Vaughn. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, he's sitting back, you know, he's in like a tight gray T-shirt, like looking good. And he's like, yeah, I, I pull from Trump. And you know why? His approval rating with Democrats is negative 31 in the New York Times Siena poll. And guess what he is with the Republicans? Plus 28. Well, then why is he at 16 percent in the Democrats? Well, primary? I think, well, first of all, I would re-poll the whole thing now. It's a few months later. But I do think that there, that is was it, a bit of... 16 percent with Democrats, Jessica? That's uh, a lot. Well, it's higher than most Republicans yeah, against Trump. Lot. Can I just say that there is, a, <laughs> there is a difference? If he's running within the Democratic Party name, right, for that party, for our party's nomination and someone wants to express an anti-Biden vote, then they're going to go with the other Democrat. But if he is not a Democrat, and voting for him means oh, that so, you're going to elect Donald Trump... So the Trump, never Trumpers are going to vote for Kennedy. <laughs> is that what you're saying? No, I don't okay. think really What are you saying? I'm saying that there are Trump voters who like his anti-vax stuff. Uh, they love that he's an outsider. Vax isn't an he, issue anymore, and he's not to the right of it. Trump on any issue. You have been so utterly incoherent in this block, I can't follow <laughs> I'm any so of it. I'm so coherent. I'm incoherent to you. <laughs> All right, coming up ahead, have YouTube pranks gone too far? An influencer gets shot after harassing a man for clicks. Wait till you see this and think about what you... Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.